I'm pretty sure we both shit ourselves in that moment. Yeah, it was a mutual shit. <laughs> Romance. <laughs> I'm Paige. I'm Holly. And today we're doing the story time, How We Met. Yep, it's a long story, but uh, it's a good one. Yeah. I like our story. You're probably used to more of our funny videos, but we also have a couple mushy videos, and this definitely is going to fall in the mushy pile, I yes. would say. No. You guys wanted it though. We did a poll on <laughs> our Instagram mm -hmm. and we did a poll today for it to see if you'd rather have this video for how we met or our coming out story. So you guys decided you'd rather have the how we met video first. It's a landslide really. Yeah. Um, it was like, what was it? Like 65 to yeah. 35? Well done. Thank you. <laughs> The challenge video coming up after this week for next week's video and then after that we're gonna probably do coming our coming out story, story video mm -hmm. so if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe so you can watch all these great vids great so baby <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay do you right. want to start you could start if you'd like sure our story sort of started in the first year of university we didn't know each other before and then when we got to our university, we were in the same residence. We didn't know each other, but we had both heard of each other. Through mutual friends, because we both had friends that mm -hmm. were in common, but we hadn't actually seen each other or met. We just, I knew of a girl named Holly. Yeah. That was really mm -hmm. all I knew at the time. Yeah. The reason we hadn't met really was because I played on the soccer team for the school. So, and I was in the middle of my season, so I was incredibly busy Very and I, busy I really didn't have any free time. So when people would go out from our residence, I never got to go, yeah, especially this one. Holly liked to go out, but I couldn't go out because I had games or practices, mm -hmm. so it was just, it was too much. So I, I we just never, we never really bumped into or each anything. Other. Mm -hmm. um, by the end of like month uh, of September to October, I started really hearing about this tall, blonde, beautiful English girl <laughs> named Holly. And I was like, who's this? Like, Who is she? I haven't she? seen her, <laughs> but yeah, who is she? And uh, one day I was in the cafe with my friends and all of a sudden a couple of my friends were like, that's her, that's Holly. And I turned and I just saw the prettiest girl in the whole world walking with her friends. Right away I shit myself. <laughs> And I didn't say anything. I just saw I just saw her walk by like this angel and at the sandwich bar. Yeah, the sandwich like, bar with like so much food and like fries and shit. And I'm like this skinny bitch. Yeah, never said anything. But that was the first time that I ever saw you. Yeah, so. and I I had heard lots about you from our mutual best friend. It was really weird. That it was we separate. Didn't that, know each other. Yeah, I think it was that. too. But I knew. I sort of knew in the back of my head that we would get along because of him because i knew that if i was good friends with him and so were you surely we were going to be good friends yeah so that was really it because you were never really a, a parsier and i didn't i wasn't active in school i just studied and drank so, so then sometime in second year uh we matched on tinder but we still hadn't talked at this point no we, there was no communication we had just seen each other mm -hmm. and that was it so we yeah we were on tinder and we matched each other yeah at this point <clears throat> holly knew i was gay yes but through I, that mutual friend through the mutual friend but i had no idea holly was when i saw she was on tinder for girls my first instinct was that she's maybe just curious or maybe just I don't know about attention I don't know it was I just I wasn't sure and I was too nervous to ever message you and at the time I was trying to figure out hence why I was on tinder just sort of trying to build my confidence up I think with girls I remember like swiping through and then when you came up I I literally <laughs> myself I was like this is it like there's always something about you that caught my attention even though we still had not spoken a friggin word but yeah we matched and i was waiting for her to message i me. know and i remember i opened the message like i opened our conversation where it says like you guys have matched mm -hmm. and i remember there was a few times where i really wanted to message you but the problem is both of us are not people that would like 
reach out and message no. somebody first. So no, we're both it made it really introverts. Yeah, so it made it really difficult to begin with because that's not like us at all. Yeah. So we didn't talk or message or anything. Um, and that was our whole second year. Now we get to third year. Third year, so again, like no contact at all. Um, and because we're not in that same res, I'm not even hearing of Paige as much. We're living completely separate lives. Anyway, I was in the line for a bar because I was there quite Your a bit. Your home. <laughs> My second home. And this guy mistakes me for Paige's roommate, I suppose, and he just comes straight up to me and he goes, so is Paige single yet? And my heart just stops. And I'm like, pardon? <laughs> How dare you even ask me that? Uh, he's like, is Paige single yet? And I said, um, she's gay. And he's like, no. And he was so upset, and like I was for him even asking me that. Like, don't. Anyway, <laughs> I was protective over her, and I didn't even know her. Like, I should have known way back. You broke his little heart. Bless his soul. I, I thought everybody knew already. <laughs> so a few weeks after that, we happened to be at the same party. Paige finally. This is the first party we've ever been really together. At. Ever. Yeah. We went to a house party for St. Patrick's Day, and we ended up in the same room. So I was with my friend group. You were with your friend group, and a bunch of mutuals in there. And I was like, I'm gonna talk to her. So my heart's like racing, and I tell her the story about the guy at the bar. And I make her laugh, and I'm like, okay, all right, it's going well. And then I remember knowing she was in the room, even when I was in my own yeah. conversations. I was very just. We hyper talked about aware this, of yeah. We just like, even though we didn't, we just had that little quick conversation. Like we didn't really talk much after that. Like there was a couple things here and there. Like it wasn't even like an introduction. We didn't really introduce ourselves. No. Um, but I felt like even though we just had that small conversation. I just felt so aware and yeah. just wanted to, I wanted to know where you were. It's just like this weird connection, instant mm -hmm. connection, but nothing came from that. We, we talked that day and again, we didn't talk then for about another month. It was a month later <clears throat> and a good friend of ours we had another party. So again, we happened to be at the same party again, you know, I was finally getting out of the house. <laughs> so at the time we had just hopped from a different party to that one. You and, and your friends. Yes, so my friends all went to the bathroom and I was sat by myself. And then I literally just feel this arm around me and I turn and it's Paige. And she goes, she's like, why haven't we spoken yet? <laughs> I must say I was absolutely blackout drunk at this point. I never would have done that sober or even with a couple drinks. Yeah, it was the last thing I was expecting <laughs> and I don't know how the hell I managed to respond <laughs> because my heart stopped and I felt like a myself. I'm pretty sure we both shit ourselves in that moment. Yeah, it was a mutual shit. <laughs> Romance. Romance. Stop! Oh my god, I hate us. Anyway, I think my response was something like pretty quick back. I was like, it takes two to talk and you just seem so set back. But I love that. Right away I realized how quick you were to responding and coming back at me. So from there, there's an open beer pong table. So that's usually my way of flirting at a party because I'm pretty good. But I didn't know that at the time. You were just like, let's play. I'm but like, it's my sure. way of like, so she grabbed a friend, I grabbed a friend. And I remember telling my friend, I'm like, we have to be her. And I think we did. You we kicked my ass. Did you? Yeah. And then after that, like everyone sort of moved from the main bit to um my one friend's like bedroom bedroom yeah there was like probably how many of us like at least like 10 of us yeah it? 10 or 15 for yeah. sure yeah it was just a, sitting on the floor on the bed everywhere it was just and we ended up next to each other on the bed somehow yeah okay. so we were talking on the bed there and kind of being flirty kind of just talking and yeah. ever we were still having our drinks and stuff and I don't know exactly how it happened, but our hands kind of went out over kind of by our side and slowly somehow we moved where eventually we yeah, I feel like I blinked kind of, and then I know, we were holding hands. We were hands. holding hands and nothing was talked about, it just kind of happened. Mm -hmm. There was such you. a connection. I can't explain it. It was just crazy. And it was even crazier than the other time that I had seen you. Yeah. And I remember you left for something. And I, my heart like sunk and I was just waiting for you to come back and I was very aware of, I was in another conversation and I saw you come in 
but I knew exactly where you were and I was wondering if you'd sit back down next to me and like just hyper aware <laughs> Oh, how do you know I did? <laughs> you ran away <laughs> But yeah, so after that, or during that I guess, uh, somehow our friends decided that we should give out each other snapchats I needed a fake all not a number, no Facebook, no. Snapchat, nothing at all. So everybody started passing out their Snapchats, so we also exchanged Snapchats yeah. as well. And uh, that night ended, I really don't even know, we just kind of said bye, but I know I wanted to stay as long as I could. The next day, you sent me a snap. Yeah. So yeah, so after that, we snapped a few Back times. Before. Yeah, for a few days. Anyway, one day, <laughs> I was just like, what are you up to tonight? And what was your response, Paige? I was going to my girlfriend's house. So, wait a second. Wait a second. Yes, everyone's judging you right now. <sighs> I've been cheated on before. I never well, would do that to anybody. But I will say that that attraction to you was like the craziest I've ever felt. And mm -hmm. I never would have fully acted on it, but it was definitely there and I was very, very aware of it. So as soon as the right time came up, I did try and let you know that I had a girlfriend. I felt it was important at this time to, for you to know because I knew I was attracted to, attracted to you, but I also knew that I had to let you know this because I didn't want to seem like some like sneaky player. player. And I told you and you were like totally like what? Like you had no idea. And Which is fair response was like, you have a girlfriend? Question mark, question mark. Yeah. <laughs> and it totally... Fair enough, like the way that I acted those few nights wasn't mm -hmm. the best for me and my relationship at the time. So after that, I thought she wasn't going to message me anymore. Well, my response to that was, I told you straight up, I said, you know, um, I was crushing on you a little bit, so like, I'm disappointed to hear you have a girlfriend, but you know, fair enough. And I told you that night, I was like, I'd rather be friends because I really enjoy your company. Yeah. If you know, it can't be anything more. Oh. But I was genuine about it because... It actually, that meant a lot to me because it made me realize she wasn't just After trying to that. like yeah. hook up with me. Like you weren't just trying to hook up with me. It was, no, because for you me... You actually wanted to know me and... I hadn't, I hadn't felt a connection like that ever. For me, it was too good to let go. And I was not after anything like i wasn't trying to think like oh i can break her down you made me laugh and i had i felt confident around you and super comfortable and i don't get that way with new people like as you know it's like i don't want to give that up after one night so um that was right by the end of third year right. so now it's summer and we've moved back yeah we're back um, home which is nowhere near each other we're no. a couple hours away so during the summer we just kind of kept up through Snapchat here and there, a couple snaps. Because I still didn't have her number, it's the yeah. way. And I wasn't gonna ask her for it, and you no. weren't really gonna ask me just because of my situation. Mm -hmm. So and we kept in contact, is basically what it was. Yeah. And some days we wouldn't talk, or so, even some weeks we wouldn't talk mm -hmm. for a little bit. Yeah. I was still with my girlfriend at this time, so we've been together almost a year at this point. We were talking, uh, but I also knew I had to be careful because I didn't want to disrespect my relationship. Mm -hmm. I knew I could easily develop feelings for you and I knew there was an attraction there, so I had to be really careful over the summer. It would be totally friendly, but you'd post a picture of you and your girlfriend on Instagram and then I wouldn't talk to you for a few days because it, that, that sort of like sting when I saw it meant that it, you were more than a friend to me. So it was a constant thing of like, we get far comfortable up, yeah. too f Yeah, exactly. That's kind of how it continued through the whole summer. And then yeah. in September, uh, we ended up going to the same bar together. Yeah, like we, were at the, or we showed up. First we, week back at school. Yeah. So we met up because we had a few friends each that went to the bar. Yeah. So we met up and that night was one of the most intense nights. I thought maybe once I saw you, it, my feelings wouldn't be there like they were mm -hmm. at that party back in because April. we hadn't seen each other for four months. months. Yeah, hardly any communication, hadn't seen each other, mm -hmm. but the, the second I saw you, every feeling came back again. There was such a connection, we had that banter back and forth. Um, it, again, it was all our friends together, but in the end it was me and you just talking at a booth. And we talked, we for, talked hours. for hours. It got to the end of the night and your friends wanted to go home. Um, I didn't want to go at all. I didn't want you to go either. Later that night, once I got home, 
uh, Holly Snapchat called me. Because I still have her number. <laughs> Snapchat calling? That is definitely a drunk thing. <laughs> and yeah, you called me and that's the first time she's ever called me, but I answered. I think I called you and said, this is how I feel. You're in a relationship, where what are you, you at? Yeah. And we, we talked for a long time. You were very straight up with me, there was no games, and you said like, for the sake of my relationship, I think it's best that you and I stop talking. Even though it was not the best outcome, I was just happy to finally have an answer. We decided it was best to not talk anymore, to keep our distance. Yeah, and we like never saw each other anyway, like she lived in her house, I lived in mine. Different programs, different friend groups, so it was not like we were really going to see yeah, each other Yeah, I didn't have any classes with her, our campus was huge. A few days later, we freaking we run into each other on campus. That was, okay, we have to explain how weird that is because in four years, never seen you we've once. never seen each other even one time. So while we were talking, somehow we meet up on campus and see each other. Yeah. It was like I was going home. You were going to it. The second I saw you, I'm like, it's a sign. Like this is the weirdest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> you look like you saw a ghost. But anyway, so <laughs> I was because I didn't have makeup on. We talked, and she's like, oh, like it was a bit awkward. But yeah, it, it's it was a bit, okay. Like, it, but it was a bit weird just because we knew the situation that had happened. But yeah. we kind of were just like, how are you? <laughs> just very like civil conversation and. Then we kind of went on our way, but then after that, I had to go to class and I could not get you off my mind. And just thinking about how much of a sign it was, and then uh, was it? I think it was a couple a day maybe after that that I texted you. Yeah. Even though I said I wasn't gonna, I, we were gonna not talk anymore. Again, not not like me to do that, but. Mm -hmm. With you, for some reason, none of the rules apply, so... You asked you me doing. if it was difficult to not talk, yeah. which it was. And, and, I was, it, and it was it really, really hard. I've never been so attached to somebody, I don't think. It was no. very... I just couldn't stop thinking about you. Usually, if I cut somebody off, like, that's it, and I'm okay. Same for me. But I felt like with you, it was just... It's been very different from the very beginning. The conversation basically ended in... We were going to try and just be friendly. We sort of said, like, we don't want to banish each other from our lives like if you see someone on Instagram yeah, like I missed you I missed you as a friend yes like, there yeah it was more than just that other attraction I really did miss having you around just being yeah. able to talk to too so we decided we were gonna try and give that a go mm -hmm. I guess it was shortly after that conversation where we had homecoming yeah <laughs> so uh, our school had our homecoming event. It's basically a big street party. Everyone yeah. dresses in school colors and goes out. And so we ended up meeting up there and pretty much spent the entire day together. It was just a super fun day mm -hmm. and after that day finished I knew that attraction was there and I felt like yeah. there things needed to be dealt with where there was a lot of just built up emotion I feel. Mm -hmm. Eventually you asked me if we could go for a drive to kind of have a, have a talk and to really explain everything and get our feelings out. So I picked her up and we went for a drive out into like the country. Remember and your car broke down in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, that was so bad. <laughs> kind of just discussed our feelings and everything and where we, where we stood, explained how I felt stuck. And um, you were kind of like, well, it's the balls in your court. Like, I'm letting you know how I feel. You got everything off your chest. I got everything off my chest. And then by the time we pulled in the driveway, like I didn't want to leave because I thought it was done like her and I it was funny because you thought that where I was my mind was in the exact opposite direction at this point I knew that I was gonna end it with my girlfriend what was it uh, the next a couple days later uh, I broke up with my girlfriend yeah. and uh, I, I explained to Holly what happened but uh, I said that I needed a, a little bit to kind of get my head in the right place yeah. so I took a few days mm -hmm. And um, I was shocked. I was so shocked. And it wasn't like a happy shock. It was total surprise. And I, I just wanted to be there for you. And mm -hmm. I wanted to know that you were okay. And I wanted, I think I said, like, if you need anything, just yeah. I'm here. And if not, no worries. But mm -hmm. then eventually, uh, a little while later, I messaged Holly to kind of be like, okay, like, I'm, I'm in a better place right now. Like, I'd love to continue to talk and just. I don't really know, but then I find out now she's been going on dates with this other girl. <laughs> so now I just broke up with my girlfriend. 
And I realized she was starting to go on dates with this girl. So I went I on. Like, oh my god. I went on Tinder because I needed closure. I needed to talk to other girls. I needed to remember who I was and that I'm not just stuck on one person because it's not like me. So anyway, I hit it off with this one girl and uh, we saw each other for a little bit while all that was going on. To me, she was going to take months to process and then you asked me one day, you're like, what are you up to tonight? I'm like, oh, I'm going on a date. How about you? I'm like, what? And you didn't reply for a long time. I was no. like, oh. I was, I've just been protective about you from the very beginning. You kind of ended things eventually with her mm -hmm. uh, because you knew that I was interested in you. We went out on a kind of a date. Yeah, we it was an study. informal date. It was yeah. a study date. We went to a coffee shop. And we did that a few times. We went to the coffee shop and we'd study together, just us two. And yeah, you dropped me home and that was it. Yeah. About a month later. later that's when I asked you on our actual first date. Which was and the dinner and movie. Yes. And yeah, pretty much since then. Ever since. Ever since we've been together. So yeah, it's quite a whirlwind. <laughs> it was very up and down. You guys are like a Yeah, there's a lot movie. going on. Yeah. A lot going on. Very dramatic, but I feel like all of those things that happened that were difficult and situations we went through led us to the relationship we have today. I think the way we both handled ourselves was mature and we we started a a mature relationship separate from all the other drama that had happened before it which i loved so yeah that's a wrap i guess that is the story of how we met again sorry for the mush but mm -hmm. You guys asked for it. So <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> As always, thank you guys again for watching. We really hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you next week. Yeah.